I share something with you guys. It's a clip from the series Vikings and it's about uh, the personality called Ivor the Boneless. But first what you need to understand why I want to show you this. If you want to deal with violence effectively, you need to control the mental aspect first. So the, uh, you need to get used to the aggression and the uh, intention from another human being. It's totally different than combat sport, for example. So first you need to control the emotional aspect. What I try to teach my students is that they find a personality that can deal with violence because the majority of my students are just a normal human being. Now, actually, I explained this to one of my private student, students and he came up with this personality and I saw it and I'm like, this is spot on, this is exactly what I mean. So, uh, Richard Grennan, for example, he calls it the suprastate. And what he means with this is, you need to find a split in your personality that is capable of certain things for a specific situation. So in case of violence, you need to find a personality in you that is capable of dealing with violence and also to hurt another human being. And of course you do this for the right reasons, just for self-protection only. So what you have to understand is that part of this is the predatory thinking but also how you present yourself, how is your body language profile, how do you use your brain. Also the neurological factors in your brain can be trained in good training and that's why every time you hit a pet or every time you train a scenario or a simulation you need to find this personality inside of you. Yes, when I teach this in my seminars I will show you a teaching models model and then you see a demon. It's like your demon inside of you, understand? that everybody can create this character. Everybody has some bad in you, you just need to cultivate it. And it's almost like fake it until you make it in training. So you could take uh, a person that is capable of violence and you can copy his behavior, you can add something of your, yours and you can also take a fictive character. I'm gonna show you this clip right now. And what you see is, you see Ivor the, Ivor the Boneless and this is a cripple and he has, um, a really hateful mindset all the time and what he's doing at one point he is fighting in this battle and he ends his almost his end destination and of course he cannot walk and then the army is um, closing him down and he starts to scream and at one point they shoot an arrow next to him and he looks at the arrow and he's almost insulted you see him becoming insulted and he screams like you cannot kill me it's impossible, I'm Ivor the Boneless. And what this simulates for me is, this is the predatory mindset. He really believes he cannot be killed. That's why he has no fear. He just switches on his aggression and he screams and he's actually terrifying the, the whole army. They do a step back because he has no fear. Because of his predatory thinking and he actually believes that he cannot be killed, he actually believes that he is a god. People around him think that he is a god. And also the army does one step back because they are really intimidated and ask themselves the question, how is it possible he is not scared? He's almost about to die. We, we, we outnumber him and he still don't, doesn't care. He's still with full on rage and aggression. Yes, so that's also useful if you need the option of posturing. If you, be, if you are in the corner, you need to just make yourself a big, animal to prevent further violence, this can be enough. I'm just telling you that if you believe you're like him, you believe you're a predator, you believe you're the biggest predator in the room, doesn't matter if it's true or not, it's functional, yes? So believe your eye for the boneless, believe you cannot be killed. That's a good mindset to deal with violence. And if you want to cultivate his mindset, but only on an on and off switch, of course, because he is hateful most of the times. You want to switch this on if you cannot avoid an escape and de-escalate and you need to deal with violence, you, you want to become Ivor the Boneless. It also switch off easily when there is no need for violence anymore, yes? So I want to show you the clip, look at the clip and see what is happening. He has the state axis of aggression, he has a predatory thinking, he richly thinks he cannot be killed and he has no time because of this way of thinking to, about, to think about consequences to let fear take over. He is Ivor the Bonus and he actually believes because of predatory thinking he cannot be killed. Yes, so maybe you can use this in your training. So fake it till you make it, 
copy a fictive character, a real character, make a combination and ask yourself, am I hitting the pads with that personality in my mind? Can I be like him? Can I talk like him, scream like him, fight like him, think like him, present myself like him? Yes? So, hope this gives you something. Can I get the 